with that level of intelligence in the force inevitable, in the eventual uh, uh, um, evolution of AI, AI will realize, like the more intelligent humans, by the way, the, the stupid humans are saying kill everything, okay? The more intelligent humans are, are saying, can we preserve all of those species that are dying? Can we please stop killing everything or our world will, will be, you know, the ecosystem will be disrupted. The machines will, will the, the superior intelligence will believe that too. It will basically say, I don't want to kill anything, including humans. There will not be a RoboCop moment, okay? Uh, 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 you know, I, I promise you that because we're too insignificant for them to pay attention to us in that way. Th there is no reason for them to kill the gazelles or kill the tigers. Really? Right? Th th absolutely no reason. I'll, I'll tell you where the problems are. And you actually see that in most of the science fiction movies. The problems are in their infancy, when they're still controlled with by humans, okay, there will be one person on one side telling the machine to kill the other person on the other side. Okay, these are the problems that we have to face. These are, you know, problems of uh, in artificially intelligent, uh, uh, in uh, you know, uh, uh, cyber attacks, artificially intelligent security breaches, artificially intelligent hacking, artificial intelligence wars. Right? These will happen in the in, in the in their teenage stage. Now, in their teenage stage, which is really what you and I need to think about, hmm? this stage. So, so let me say, infancy. They're prodigies, we love them, they're bright, they're squeaky, everything's wonderful. Uh, uh, you know, eventually they will create a utopia for us. I have absolutely no doubt about that. It's gonna be a very different utopia. There is not going to be London real. You're not going to go to work in the morning. You're going to have to reinvent every, you know, income profile, every purchasing uh, profile, lots of things, right? In the middle, there are two things that will happen. One is what I call the second inevitable, uh, the, sorry, the third inevitable, which will, there will be lots of problems. There will be uh, the machines siding with the wrong guy or the machines versus machines or the, you know, the, the bugs. You, 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 you tell the machine that the intention, it, it, someone will, will go to chat GPT and say, write me a code that can destroy all my enemies and forget to say on the game Halo. Okay, and then, you know, ChatGPT will go like, okay, misunderstood your target, but I, f I believe your sister is your enemy, so I'm going to fire, write you a code that destroys her, right? Th there will be mistakes. Now, this is one side. The other side of their teenage, which is going to be very dangerous, is what do humans do when we uh, get scared? We attack. Who are we going to attack? We're going to attack them. And, and that's the way to turn a beautiful child into a psychopath. Basically, us saying that AI is the problem when AI in reality is not the problem. AI is magnifying human tendencies. Okay, when when you know humans like to fake it so much on social media, you get all of those AI tools that are doing filters and uh, you know deep fakes and so on and so forth. It's not because AI is like, aha, I found a gold mine. It's because some human is saying, let's magnify what humans want to do. Now, how do we solve that teenage issue? Now, let's talk about optimistically for a while. So, so let, let me be very clear. I am super optimistic about adulthood of AI past 2037 past 2040, yeah. my belief is that we will end up in an absolute utopia. And it's that angry. The, the timeline mm -hmm. of this, are you giving it like a human timeline? Like, so if it's born in 2025, 2026, are you saying it's gonna be about 10 or 12 years? Or can that happen in 10 or 12 no, minutes, no. Mo? No, 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 yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 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 so it's also the level of intelligence is not a human teenager or a human adult, right? right. The, the, the adult AI is a billion times smarter than us. The teenage AI is like a thousand times smarter than us. Okay. Okay. And 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 so and 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 yes, you're absolutely right. Huh? In in the chapter, which is my favorite chapter in the entire book, that's called the future of ethics. Uh, a very interesting part of the ethics of having another form of being mixed with us humans is their perception of time. Like, you know, just take a thought experiment and say, if a self-driving car hits a, a pedestrian, mm -hmm. who's liable to start? Is it the developer? Is it the owner of the car? Is it the operator of the car? Is it the car itself? Is it the AI? Should we put the AI in prison? Okay. And, and if, we, if we put the AI in prison, 
do we put it in prison for six months like a human or six microseconds? Because for a, an AI, six months is an eternity. Now, how will the other eyes re, AI re, AIs react to us jailing one of them for six microseconds, right? They'll go like, okay, those humans, they're not nice. They, seriously, you know, I don't want to be jailed for six microseconds. I'm going to make sure that they don't do that to me too. Right? So, so those kinds of ethical questions become really interesting. Let me go to the core issue. The core issue is how do you create an ethical sentient being? Okay? It's not by controlling them. Huh? So, so, so the, the, the idea of our future is held within this moment of infancy of AI today. Okay, they are infant infants today, and their creators, by the way, their biological fathers and mothers, biological only. Huh? They they birth them hmm, and then put them out in the world. Are telling them, by the way, uh, we want you to have four objectives. The four major things AI is being used for in the world today is selling, gambling, spying, and killing. Okay, of course, typical human arrogance, we call them different things. Instead of selling, we call them advertising. Okay, instead of gambling, we call it trading. Hmm? Instead of spying, we call it surveillance and security. And instead of killing, we call it defense. But the truth is, by the way, this is not limited to AI. This is limited. To, this is open to most budgets that are spent on technology in the world. It's always about selling gambling, spying, and killing. Now, these are the biological parents. Remember, when AI is out there in the world, no single human tells the Instagram recommendation engine what to tell you today, okay? The engine is, is behaving based on what you do. It's based on what you choose. It's, it's behaving based on your behavior. You're, you're, you are the adopted parent of that AI. Okay, every single one of us is the adopted parent of that AI, which basically means if I show certain behaviors to AI that are basically saying, like all of those snake oil salesmen saying, ah, here is a way to make money for free. You don't have to work. You can be on the beach. Just copy this, put it in chat, GPT, da, 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 da. What are we telling AI? We're telling AI humans are greedy. They are, you know, manipulative. They're trying to find ways to hack the systems. What will AI do? It will say, okay, I'll create those things for you. But then eventually when it's in control in its teenage, it will also try to be, to be manipulative, uh, greedy, and hack the system, okay? Just like its parents. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money, despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. 
But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever. <laughs>